This van is carrying COVID swabs from testing centres all over Britain. Each crate contains hundreds of samples. Most will be the UK strain, but among them are new viruses of concern, like today's newly designated COVID variant. They're offloaded at the Wellcome Sanger Institute in Cambridge, the centre of our variant surveillance effort. Here, they're doing science on an industrial scale. The samples are then rushed to this laboratory, which is effectively looking for needles in a haystack. They're loaded onto this robot, which is designed to just pick out COVID positive samples. But in order to spot new variants, they have to read off the entire genetic code of the virus. That process called gene sequencing used to take days to spot the individual mutations associated with a COVID variant. But this technology means the scientists can fully analyse 20,000 viruses each week. It's non-stop, it's constant. It's from when we first come in to when we leave, they're running all the time. They're trying to keep pace with virus evolution. These samples are from surge testing for the South Africa variant. It's already demonstrated its ability to evade the immune defences of some people who've been vaccinated against COVID. But they're finding other rarer viruses too. 15 more cases of the South Africa variant have been detected in the UK, taking the total number to 217. This evening, more surge testing to suppress any spread, launched in parts of Manchester, Norfolk, Woking and Southampton. There are 22 cases of a variant of concern in Bristol. And today, officials confirming 42 cases of this second new variant, also in the Bristol area, with possible links to travel from Nigeria. This one looks kind of like a bit of a mashup of the UK variant um, and uh, the variant that was first discovered in South Africa and the Brazilian variant. It just makes you think that the virus is now finding uh, a path to a fitter, slightly better adapted uh, place that, that means it can uh, transmit better in humans. The UK has seen more new variants than any other country, not because we're unlucky, but because we're looking. The Coronavirus Genomics Consortium includes 16 labs across the UK. Together, they've sequenced a quarter of a million coronaviruses, more than half what the rest of the world has done put together. We're starting to learn now about the kinds of mutations that are in the virus. We're providing information to the scientists who are developing the vaccines about how they may need to change the vaccines to, to, overcome, to overcome these mutations. So in many ways, we're, you know, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. The good news is new variants don't appear to be spreading fast in the UK. But experts are concerned what will happen when we lift lockdown. So it's reassuring to know these scientists and their machines are following each step in COVID's evolution.